Welcome back to Wiring R Us. Yes, I'm still plugging away. <laughs> So, because of our newly uh, repositioned uh, rectifier regulator um, and our lovely new sockets there, I've rethought the connection because uh, it was here and that's kind of in there, looks a bit messy, whatever. So, I've actually rooted the damn thing all the way around there um, and here's our plug here and that comes forward and meets that. A substantial extension. Uh, which we now have to uh, cover up and um, tidy away somewhere. Well, that's that for now, and uh, that's that for now. That just leaves the solenoid and uh, the connectors in there, which are basically four males, and this horrible snotty old plug. Start a solenoid, yeah. Uh, so I thought I was going to have to get a kit to do one of these, and then... And whilst I was investigating that, I also found new solenoid kit um, and wiring therewith. And you'll notice that they're just four um, female connectors. So we've gone with that. And then there's our spark unit, which uh, several days later is still in place. So that's good. We'll do the other one. That just leaves all this. Yes, still. Um, well, I've been busy tidying up the wiring. Alrighty, now we've got nice new wiring. Let's get this rectifier regulator plumbed in. So it goes to that second slot there on the blue unit. So that's our black wire out of the rectifier regulator down into that second slot there green wire is the earth so that will go onto that earth terminal on the blue unit that will reach and fit nicely oh, I know mine are short there on the posi terminal oops and then that leaves our red and white uh, which we've got red at the moment which will mount into the top of the solenoid all right we're getting earths from the spark units which are now um, nicely under the frame uh, I've actually run forward because we had this earth um, that comes off here actually there it is that's a good earth up by the coils the rest of that wiring from the spark units comes down to this which goes to the ignition and um, that's a bit I'm still confused about earth successfully terminated to uh, ground control over there um, reasonably far away from the positive hopefully so what was confusing me with these um, spark units was that there were only three wires and on the diagram there's effectively like a four-way split. So we've got the black and white going up to the coils here. Uh, we've got the black and white into each of the spark units. And now, in theory, this is correct, we've got our ignition wire coming out of the blue unit. Do, 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 do. There, in terminal four. Terminal four on Marshall's diagram going do, 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 to the spark units into the what was the black and white. As you can see, underneath. Over here on the motor gadget diagram, uh, terminal four ignition goes to that kind of stuff. Which I guess is what we're doing. So I, I suppose it wasn't that complicated after all. All we've got to do is hook this up because uh, that's still dangling around in the breeze. Hook our yellow outputs to the top of the start solenoid along with um, this boy from the rectifier regulator. And then on the input side, as I say, this yellow wire needs to come up and start talking to the starter button up there alrighty we are all wired in at the solenoid so we've got our positive uh, main battery positive coming up to the positive terminal on the battery there we've got uh, two yellows out of focus uh, coming up to the start on the blue unit 
we got our red and white coming up all the way to our red and white on the uh, regulator rectifier and of course we got our um, power going off to our start layer in theory all we got to do is wire this yellow uh, input to our button Let's see what happens oh, I know it's been a long time coming I hope you're more confident than I am that said, I'm going to leave it to tomorrow uh, because um, there's been quite enough excitement today. Thank you. Right. Everything's wired in, I think, including the solenoid and all the bits. Needless to say, uh, it doesn't start, or the start mode doesn't even crank over. I'm pretty sure I've got these in the wrong slots. Trouble is, I'm not so sure which are the right slots. Yeah, that's no bloody help. Nor is that really. I suppose it is if I looked at the other things in conjunction with it. But never fear, I have found a simple solution, and we like simple solutions. Thanks to Revival Motorcycles. Yes, they sell a universal starter solenoid. Uh, we all know how universal things work. We shall see when it turns up. But most importantly, it comes with a plug ready and wiring diagram. For an M unit, 50 bucks well spent, I think. Good news, we have a small package. Apparently all good things come in small packages. It's our universal starter solenoid from Revival Motorcycles. So we've got the actual solenoid itself, complete with a couple of fuses there cover for it, that's nice, uh, some more fuses, and what have we got in there, dude, yes, waterproof connectors, oh no, those connectors, ah, so it could plug into the original, but it's not going to, and um, some random mounting brackets, which fit into there. Those slots either side. Glad they sent fuses because we haven't got many of them. Uh -huh. No. Um, so this bit is the female end of that bit. So we are going to need to use those connections. Good job we had practice with our waterproof boys, eh? And as promised, uh, wonderful, clear instructions on how to wire it into your blue unit and everything else. Very impressive, guys. Anyway, while I love their instructions, it would clearly imply that you need like AWG6 wiring to go into there, which would result in trying to fit a six gauge wire into that, which clearly ain't going to work. We'll go with some of that. Meanwhile, we need some open uh, U brackets B crimpers. Let's have a look what we got. Lots of crimpers. Crimpers supplied with waterproof wiring connectors. Not B. As we discovered to our cost when we were fitting those connectors, uh, these are just too bloody... Um, manly for the job. I understand the problem only too well. So I guess we're buying yet more crimpers. Now all we've got to do is work out where we're going to mount it before we start wiring it up and I don't think that's going to work. That's what we cobbled together for the old solenoid. However I do think the position actually even better will still work. So there's the mount that we mounted it off on the frame um, and there it'll fit We've got some space there, which is basically the back side of that. Yeah, see? It fits. So, I think we should do some drilling. Of course, I hear you say this has got nothing to do with fitting a blue unit. Well, it kind of does. And there we have it. Or at least there we have it. Uh, so yes, nicely, um, nicely hidden from the outside, pretty much. Yeah, like that. Oh, 
course, with our newly positioned starter solenoid, um, our cable here is just a little bit too short. Yeah, we have to make another one. Good job, we got some spare. That should do it. So I'm going to get all that hooked up and um, uh, the plug and everything else, and uh, then we'll reconvene next time and see if the damn thing starts, eh? Yeah, we're getting close. Um, so yeah, thanks for tuning in as always. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe down here somewhere. Uh, give the video the thumbs up, of course, that's very important. And um, encourage others to watch my lunacy. <laughs>